Hey guys, it's Ryan coming at you from Oregon. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today we're in for a special treat. I'm gonna be talking about how to create a tech sales resume, LinkedIn, cover letter, really in depth. Um, so I really hope you guys get a lot of value out of this. Uh, this is really gonna help you if you're on the track to look into tech sales, if you're somebody who's brand new into the job market, if you're looking to transfer, if you're looking for a promotion, you kind of use a lot of these same skill sets and all these things. And if this is your first time ever checking out this channel or video to give you guys a little bit of background on who I am, uh, I've been in sales for about 15 years. I've done fairly well and I've been about 10 years as a hiring manager. I don't want to boast, but yeah, it's gone pretty good. And I've done 10 years as a hiring manager in tech, in cybersecurity. I've done agency work. I've done internal work. Uh, I've trained recruiters. I've trained salespeople. I've seen thousands of resumes. I would argue maybe tens of thousands of resumes. Uh, and right now even I run both departments. I run a team of recruiters and a team for tech sales. So uh, I've done a little bit of everything. I've also done full cycle in tech sales myself. I've done SDR work, BD work, account executive work. Um, I've been number one in a few different companies. And even if I wasn't number one, I was still in the top five to 10%. So I've, I've had a pretty good track record. So I hope this adds some value and it helps you. I know it's a little bit of a tough and scary time with economics right now and a lot of people not sure on where to go. So I hope this you know, enhances and adds some value to you guys and I hope you guys use these skill sets. So let's talk about this. We're gonna break it down. I might stop the video and kind of pull it all together. You know, I'm not like a huge YouTuber. I don't do like edits all the time or anything like that. I, my, my time is money. So I wanna make sure it's as value as efficiently as possible so I can get it to you guys. So we're probably gonna break it up into resume, LinkedIn profile, and cover letter, okay? We're gonna start with resume. Now, all these things are tools that you can use to get you the job interview, okay? If you, uh, and a lot of people underestimate the resume, like they really do. The whole point is to get your foot in the door, to get you in person, you know, ideally in person at a company Secondary is a Zoom call, fine. Third is a phone call, but you really wanna be in person so they can feel your energy and really kinda of like, you build that rapport with the hiring manager or the CEO, whoever's doing the final decision making. So very, very, very important. The next thing is that you have to be able to sell yourself before you join sales for a company. Otherwise, why would they hire you? The job offer, the, if, they, if you get a job offer, you know a sale is made. You sell, you've sold yourself successfully. Okay, I hope this makes sense. So you wanna make sure that your resume is that first part in the steps to get you in the door. So we really wanna put a lot of attention and focus. If you want some interview skills, uh, I've done videos in the past on you know, how to impress the hiring manager, for example, or a few other interview videos. Definitely check those out in the channel. I go into how to do salary negotiation and everything. But today we're gonna to focus on resumes, okay? So the key to resumes, there's a lot of templates out there. You know, there's, there's templates all over the place. So some of the things you wanna kinda of look out for and how to design your resume. Number one, brevity is key, okay? Brevity is so, so key. There are so many resumes I've seen that either have too little or too much. There is a sweet spot that you wanna do. Um, I would say that, you know, don't make your, your resume like five to seven pages. Nobody has time to, to read through the entire thing. If you want to be in the hiring manager's mind, they are getting 100, 200, sometimes 300 resumes a day, including myself. I get that many. So the average hiring manager is looking at your resume for only like 10 seconds. Okay. I know that's a bitter pill to swallow, but it's true. They're looking at it for 10 seconds. And they also use an applicant tracking system or ATS for short. And I'll get into that in a second. But, um, Brevity is key. You wanna make sure your resume is one to two pages max. One to two pages max. If you're really starting off, like I don't have that many, you know, background, I, I've had like one other job, it should only be one page. If you've had like three or four jobs and you've been in the space for like 10 years, you can make it two pages, but I would, I would keep it to that point, okay? Between each bullet point, under your education, under your job responsibility, under your job title, you wanna make sure also you're keeping it to two to five bullet points. It shouldn't be a list of like 50. 
I've seen a few resumes where it was like this endless list of all these things and they're just trying to put all this information they did. No, you want to keep it brief and strict to the point, but also that it stands out, okay? So very something to kind of consider there. So when you're writing your, your, your resume, and I have a few templates that I recommend that I've seen from other resumes that I've taken. You can look in the description below. I'll have a link there. You can use that as a template, okay? When you're brainstorming and writing your first resume, I want you to think of your latest position, whatever that is. Um, think of your latest position and you start brainstorming, okay? I want you to just list out everything that had to do with that job. What were the responsibilities? What were the experiences? What were some of the gains and the wins? Did you get any special certifications or awards? How did you help the company? Okay? So you want to be listing like ideally 10, 20, 30 things on there. Everything you can think of of accomplishments in your role or responsibilities that you had. Okay? After that, we're going to pull out the top five. Okay? You want to pull out the top five that corresponds to the role you're applying, in this case, tech sales, okay? You wanna make sure that the phrasing is similar to somebody who's in tech sales, right? You did business development, I did customer experience, I did negotiation, I did communication, I demonstrated leadership, okay? For example, if you were working as a barista, okay? If you were just you know working at, at Starbucks, for example, you've never done sales, Okay, I would still say underneath like kind of the, the bullet points for your role, hey, I have advanced skill sets in customer service. I know how to, uh, you know, I have constant communication with the team and supervisors. I know how to work in systems and I knew how to optimize those systems, right? I learned the importance of positivity and bringing that to each customer so they left satisfied. Things like that, like I, if somebody would put that in their resume, I'd be like, whoa, okay, this is interesting. So you can phrase it, but you want to make sure the phrasing, the vocabulary are in line with tech sales in general, okay? If you have previous sales experience, say you're a um, salesperson already, okay? Then you really want to start putting um, metrics and awards in that. Um, very important, the hiring manager is looking at metrics. Certain key performance indicators or KPIs, you know, were you able to close 25% of your leads? How many demos were you doing a week? Um, were you able to increase revenue overall for the company? Were you the top 25% or top 20% of your sales force? Any relevant awards or merits, things that you can do to stand out, very, very, very key, okay? Now, another big thing, another key that we want to emphasize is the ATS, Applicant Tracking System, okay? It's, sorry, I got a phone call right at the same time. It's very, very important that you are aware of this. If you are joining a company that's only like 10 people to 20 people to maybe I'd say up to 30, there's probably only one hiring manager or it's the CEO doing it all himself or the HR doing it all himself. He's looking at each individual resume and they're probably using just the, the usual Indeed or other things out there, okay? That's fine. When it gets to enterprise and big companies, especially with tech sales, a lot of people are trying to big, join the bigger companies they are using what's called an applicant tracking system. Same thing as a CRM, same thing as a um, customer relationship management system, but this is for candidates and for hiring and talent acquisition specifically, okay? It's like, think of like a Google search. The, the ATS is getting like 500 resumes a day and then it's giving to the hiring manager only the top 10 to 20 that meet the standards that they're looking for. So you wanna make sure the vocabulary in your resume is matching the ATS, okay? I hope that made sense. Hope that made sense. Things that you can put in, okay? We I said key performance indicator. You can say KPI. You can say the word demo, meaning demonstration, a sales demonstration. I did a bunch of sales demos, right? It's looking for that. SDR, sales development representative. BDR, business development representative. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of different things that you can say. I grew the company. Um, I conducted about you know 10 demos a week. I was able to close 25% of them. Little things like that. Uh, ARR, annual recurring revenue. Little vocabulary pieces like that and things that talk about leadership, um, communication, persuasion, customer service, 
all that vocabulary, if they go on your resume, it has a higher probability of going in front of the hiring manager first. Now, if you want my recommendation, here's a pro tip. If you're going to do job hunting, I would recommend doing your, uh, I would send in your resumes on a Sunday evening. Okay, so it's waiting for them first thing Monday morning. It's when they're bright, they're ready to go, they've had the weekend, they feel great, and, and if you can do it with the right ATS optimization, you're gonna be the first in line, and that hiring manager, if you look good, great, you're gonna, you're gonna get the interview, okay? So, hope that really, really helps. Um, please use the link below for a few other videos I talked about on interviews, as well as some of the templates that I had mentioned. Hope this was helpful. Um, keep tuned. We're going to start talking about the LinkedIn video as well. Okay. Cheers. All right. And we are back. Okay. So in the last video, we talked about kind of resume building. And in a second, I'm going to share with you um, a few different resume templates that I recommend that you can find in the description below. They, you know, completely free and um, very interesting. So, <laughs> I tried to do this actual video a few days ago, uh, right before the weekend, and you know we were we, we were going out snowboarding, visiting friends, and everything like that. And then uh, you could hear my fiance in the background watching Jurassic Park, so there was like you know dinosaur noises going on, <laughs> a little distracting. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, perfect. By the way, I've been having a few screen difficulties, so if my screen all of a sudden kind of pauses, just a heads up there, okay? All right, so hopefully everybody can see this. I might, my video might pause at one point. Um, it happens, at least you can hear my voice. Anyway, so these are what are called blind resumes. And in the recruiting world, a blind resume is when we're kind of shopping around a certain candidate to you know, different companies. And we use a blind resume where we've actually done, you know, we've taken away his name, we've taken away certain contact details, or we've changed them, um, as well as maybe a few essential information. And it's a way of kind of shopping around so the, the company doesn't just go and talk to the person individually. And, and so these are blind resumes means I've taken out important information about the person, uh, you know, for confidentiality, um, as well as like the companies and, and description, but you still get an idea of the skill sets and what we're looking for. And, uh, so first and foremost, first and for foremost, I do recommend, um, a lot of people are using indeed resumes right now, which means they're using the, the auto fill of getting your resume. I really recommend not doing this create your own resume. The autofill sequence, actually, I've seen so many errors and people send me a resume and I could tell right away, it's like you'd use an autofill thing and there's errors on it. It didn't do the right formatting. As well as if you use the Indeed one, trust me, 80% of the market right now is sending me identical resumes like that. It's the same format every single time, right? And you, you know, so I would do little things. It's the little things you do to capture attention and to stand out in this marketplace, okay? So let's go over this real quick. So we have, um, let me just make sure, is this thing still recording? Good, okay. Let's make, let's talk about this. So I really like the flow of this resume. You have the name enlarged, you have the contact information, profile summary. I like how it's highlighted so I know where my eyes go to every single time. This has only three to four sentences, perfect. Education, good. Same thing here, gives me the dates, it gives me three to five bullet points under each title that he's had that gives me an idea of his responsibilities. And look, close 50% of inbound leads. Perfect, it gives me a little bit of his accomplishments as well as it uses certain vocabulary that you're gonna see in kind of the sales world, okay? Lead generation, really, really good. Um, monthly quota, personal revenue targets, inbound leads, I like it. Help the team stay organized and keep communication open. So a lot of these things, it shows you the vocabulary using, the format, the flow, skill sets at the bottom. Um, tells me about using English, native English speaker, French, professional working proficiency, software. Now, this is really important, guys, if you have actually, you know, don't lie on a resume. Again, don't lie, don't lie. But if you've used certain technology, you want to make, make a note of that. So he tells me he's used Microsoft Office, Zoom. Zoom, who, who hasn't, 
but HubSpot, Salesforce, really good tools. So if you've used different CRMs, ATS, um, email, um, email marketing, for example, any type of tools that you use to automate your sales sequence, you definitely want to use it. I would definitely put that on there. It shows that you're technology proficient. You're able to get into the demos pretty quickly. Okay. So there's that, that's that one. Now this one, uh, template number two, this is actually uh, not for tech sales, but it's for a senior cybersecurity engineer resume. And um, this is a really good resume, I think, because of the flow that it uses. Name is completely centered. I love the way how they use borders. Really segments the entire resume, gives me his certifications, his awards, his education, really good. Um, the big things right here, his, his title, year experience now some of the things that i would work on is consolidating right it is a lot of information now this is somebody who's also very high in demand he doesn't have a lot of competition as much as like other positions senior cybersecurity engineer um he also has a lot of experience that he can put down but it's it's short enough where it's like okay five bullet points perfect okay with tech sales same thing i would use instead this is all for his hardware and software abilities. But in tech sales, you definitely want to use what CRMs he's used, what kind of cloud operating systems, little tools that you've utilized. For this one, um, if I was formatting for tech sales, I'd make it for three to five bullet points instead of like 10 here. But the way he bolds and italicizes certain elements, very good. And I just like the flow. Again, the flow of it reads very nicely. It's very night, uh, nice, neat, and organized, okay? So food for thought on that one. Let's go to this one. This is very simple, very simple, straight to the point. Okay, it's one to two pages. It's very clean, kind of the same thing. The name is emboldened, it's centered. Um, it gives me access to his LinkedIn, which is really good. And remember, only put your LinkedIn if it's completely fulfilled, filled out, has a professional photo. Same thing here, he has a summary. It's about three to five sentences. Skills on one side, experiences on the other one, all of it is vocabulary that are, are very relevant to tech sales, okay? Very good to use. Same thing here, career experience. He's got the company, the location, and uh, the title, his, his uh, job title. When was it? Make sure to put present if you're still, um, you're still working in an active company. If you're not, make sure you're actually putting the end date of when that was, okay? Again, this is three to five bullet points underneath one, highlighting the responsibilities. And then he has a little bit of the education. Very simple, but because of the design and the layout, I really want to stop and take another look. And the whole idea is to get the person, again, it's to get your foot in the door and to kind of showcase your skill sets. You want to win them over in the interview. This is really just that initial thing. When the recruiter is kind of weeding everybody out, it's, it's really he's looking at the resumes that look good compared to everybody else, as well as obviously it has to be relevant. Right, the right skill sets, responsibilities, and accomplishments, um, and then your your actual interview is where you get to see if you're more of a fit, communication wise with the team, company culture, big deal. So I hope that was helpful. Let me go back to this. So I hope that was helpful. Oh, I can stop sharing. Oh, good. Yeah. So I hope that was helpful. And uh, you can go ahead and look at those resumes uh, in the description below, as well as other interview tools that we use, um, other templates for your cover letter, things like that. Hope that was very, very helpful. Feel free to reach out anytime. If you want to do a free 20-minute consultation, happy to do so, as well as send me an email if you have any relevant questions um, and check those out, okay? All right, guys. Cheers.